today we'll be sketching the graph of the parabola y equals the negative of x minus 2 times x plus 3. This equation was given in what's called intercept form because it will tell us our x-intercepts. One thing to note is that this negative out front tells us that it opens down. Setting our equation equal to 0 tells us the x-intercepts, and taking turns setting each of these products equal to 0 gives us the two points 2, 0, and negative 3, 0. So we'll add those to our graph. We know that a parabola has symmetry around its vertex. So one thing that's unique about intercept form is to find the x value of the vertex. We can take the average between the two intercepts because it should be halfway between them because of its symmetry. This tells us that our axis of symmetry is at negative 1 half. We could also FOIL out our equation to put it into a different form. We could FOIL it out to give us negative x squared minus x plus 6, and then we could use our vertex formula to give us the x value, negative b over 2a. So either way, we're going to get the same x value of negative 1 half. So both ways are good to figure out the axis of symmetry. Now to find the y value of the vertex, we're going to plug x back into our equation, and it's perfectly fine to use either equation. Now we have the one we were given, or we have the one where we distributed everything out. Both of them will give you the same answer of y equals 6 and 1 quarter. This makes our vertex the point negative 1 half and 6 and a quarter. On our graph, it is here. The last piece of information we can find is the y-intercept. Again, it's perfectly fine to use either form, so I'll use the intercept form. Plugging in 0 for x gives us the y-intercept, which gives us y equals 6. So the point 0, 6 is on our parabola. Using the symmetry about the vertex, we know that the point negative 1, 6 will also be on the parabola. And then here is our parabola.